As Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is beginning to take shape at Walt Disney World, it's about time that we discuss more details about the upcoming Millennium Falcon attraction that's currently being built up next. Hi there, Walton ears. I'm Jack. This is DSMI Newscast. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Hit that notification icon. And also, whilst you're at it, go ahead and check out the sister channel, or should I say brother channel, to DSMI Newscast, Universal Newscast. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And with all of that out of the way, let's get right on into the news. So, previously in these videos, we've discussed a lot about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, as we're beginning to get an idea of what is sure to be one of the most immersive of experiences that Walt Disney Imagineering has ever created. But there is still so much that is left unknown about this new land, primarily being what the attractions will actually be like. As previously, we've heard from Disney that the decisions and performance that you have within the Millennium Falcon attraction will have consequences for your own individual story within Galaxy's Edge. However, we're now beginning to get a better idea of how this attraction will operate. As we can see in these construction photos by BioReconstruct, that the Millennium Falcon attraction building will have four separate turntables that will hold seven simulation pods that will all be facing inwards towards the center, with the screen being on the outside of the pod. This way it makes it easy for loading and unloading of the six guests that will be in each pod. Now yes, that does mean at any one time there will be 168 people potentially experiencing this attraction. But here's what's interesting. As Disney are so committed to the realistic, authentic experience of being on board the Millennium Falcon, that apparently you won't be able to see any of the other guests board or disembark the other simulation pods on the same turntable. Which, if you think about it, is a pretty radical idea for Disney. As with nearly every other attraction within any one of the Disney parks, you can always see other people riding the same attraction at the same time. For an example, even Star Tours, you can see the other guests board as you leave the Star Speeder. Which, in my opinion, kind of ruins the immersion of being within that attraction that you've just experienced and even the newest and most popular attraction at Walt Disney World at the moment, as when on board Flight of Passage, if you turn around, you're still very aware of your current surroundings and the fact that you're on a ride. Whereas this really does seem like Disney are trying to get you, as they keep on saying within the marketing campaign, to live your Star Wars adventure. And to build upon this idea, each person within the cockpit will have a separate role to play. And instead of this being a scripted ride sequence, like we see with Mission Space, apparently you'll be able to fly the Millennium Falcon however you'd like. And whilst we're talking about Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World, the entrance tunnel into the new land at Disney's Hollywood Studios is progressing very nicely, with the entrance area seen in this concept art here most likely being what you'll see once you emerge around the corner of this entrance tunnel. Now let's move on to a topic which will surely affect the Walt Disney Company in a major way, as Disney Chairman and CEO Bob Iger has announced at Vanity Fair's new establishment conference that he will definitely be stepping down at the very latest by mid-2019, as we all know that he's previously extended his current contract time and time again. But now Bob Iger has confirmed that the new CEO will most likely be someone from within Disney, as it was previously rumoured that the Disney board were looking at external candidates, such as Reed Hastings from Netflix and Sheryl Sandberg from Facebook. And that's not the only news to come out of this conference, as Bob Iger also confirmed that the rumours that were circulating around Wall Street in November of 2016 were indeed true as Disney were reportedly looking to acquire Twitter, as it may have offered a way for Disney to present and sell their content directly to the consumer. However, Disney decided that in the end, Twitter wouldn't be the best bet, as BamTech offered a much better option for their future plans in the streaming media space. And lastly for today, 
Over at Disneyland Paris, our friends at ED92Live on Twitter have spotted this rather curious height balloon test at the back of the Chaparral Theatre, which was once the rumoured location for where Disneyland Paris was meant to build the Splash Mountain attraction. And of course, with the acquisition of Disneyland Paris by the Walt Disney Company in July of this year, and taking into account the recent visit from the executives from Burbank, including Bob Iger himself, it definitely seems like something big is going to be coming to Disneyland Paris. But now, it's over to you, the Waltoneers. I would love to know what you think that this Millennium Falcon attraction storyline will centre around. And also, how do you think that Disney will integrate the different timelines of the Millennium Falcon with the cast of the young Han Solo movie, the iconic Harrison Ford Han Solo, and also Rey captaining the Millennium Falcon with Chewie in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. And don't forget to leave the Hidden Mickey timestamp along with your suggestion to be in with a chance to win a DSMY Newscast pin, and congratulations to the YouTube user The Nerd Herd for this suggestion from the previous video, talking all about how Guardians of the Galaxy at Epcot is going to be a roller coaster. And don't forget, as always, to go and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel and this is the first video that you've ever watched of DSMY Newscast. Give this video a massive thumbs up as it would really help us out, it really does. And I've been Jack. You've been you, and I'll see you real soon.